Well, hello, darlings. I know, unexpected. Well, spent too much time in the sun today. That's all right. Whatever. Don't worry about that. It's not about how we look. Um, so this video is, um, my opinion and my opinion only. <laughs> what is the definition of hate? Uh, because it seems to be growing with words and actions that are unwarranted. I don't understand it except for the simple fact that Ephesians 6 said it very plainly. We fight against principalities of darkness that we do not understand, we can't see, and we do not comprehend. I'm just simply going to say this. There's a whole lot of hatred going on right now, and I don't get it. You can disagree with someone. Why do you have to hate them? I've had to grow a lot this past year, and I used to get really angry too, but good grief. I didn't realize there were two sides of Yeshua. Apparently, if you uh, disagree with someone, uh, you're evil. You can't have a difference of opinion? You just agree to disagree? What happened to that? What in tarnation is going on? And what is the purpose or need to be hateful towards people? And on top of that, why do people feel the need to tell someone else what they should feel or do and respond to something? That's none of your business. If people choose to do something, it's called free will of the spirit. Leave them alone. There's one thing I will say about my channel. You're all welcome here. We don't have to agree. We don't have to agree on anything. Even the round tables, we don't always agree on everything, but we don't hate each other for it. If you don't agree with the way I see things, well, you're not welcome here. Well, that's a dictatorship. There's no free will involved in that. You can't say one minute that, oh, you know, you, I can't say this. You, you can do whatever you want and then turn around 30 seconds later and say, but if you do, you're not welcome here. I will block you. I will, mm. Cut. why? That means you just told them their opinion doesn't matter and you don't value it. You don't value their free will. People have free will and every once in a while they're going to disagree with you. It doesn't make them evil. You just let them do their own thing. On my channel, I have a phrase, you do you, boo. If it doesn't set right with you, even what I say, if it doesn't set right with you, you do whatever you got to do. You don't have to listen to me, but I don't block people just because they disagree with me. I, I hope that a healthy conversation means every once in a while, actually more often than not, you will probably disagree with me, but it opens up dialogue and opens up opinion. It opens up conversation. What is wrong with that? If someone doesn't sit right with you, over time you will tend to choose to walk away. It's not because someone twisted their arm and held a gun to their head. They just chose 
not to agree with it and just didn't sit right anymore, so they walked away. I don't understand this misconcept. Why is that so hard to understand? Let people make their own decisions. Let people have their own discernment. It's not up to you. You're not God. Just leave them alone. Just, I, I can't even tell you what to do because you're going to do, you do you, boo, honey. I love you. And I, I love everybody out there that if you disagree with my show or any other show, okay, but I'm not going to block you because you've got a right to do just the same as me and that I can choose to listen or not listen. But the ugliness, why? Just, there's, there's no, that's not of Yeshua. That's not of Yeshua. That is not godly. That is not love. And people are going to take this video like, what are you talking about, Jen? I, I don't even want to discuss it because my integrity actually speaks for itself. I don't need to mention names. I'm just simply saying, honey, y'all do what you want to do. But I hope you do it with love and I hope you do it with forgiveness and I hope you do it with the integrity based on your own spirituality because wow I love my family and everyone that's in it whether you're very vocal not vocal whether you're a round table member, whether you're not, what difference does it make? I didn't realize you ruled the roost. You don't get to tell people what to do. You are not God. People make their own decisions. Let them make it without you tooting your horn. Just leave people alone. Just like I'm going to tell you now. You're like, well, if you believe that, you wouldn't be making this video. I'm just making the video going, you do you, boo. And if you feel that you need to get that angry and that upset and you need to use that kind of hate, honey, everybody needs a hobby. And if it makes you feel better, well, God love you. But... From where I come from, that is not of Jesus. That is not of my creator. Because we are of the divine. Even though you're convinced otherwise. Just, I, believe it or not, I love you. And I wish you the best. And I hope you the best. I just... If integrity is important and actions speak louder than words, let people's actions speak for themselves. Let them do it. That's on them. Let their actions speak for what they need. If someone questions it, let them decide. Don't tell them what to do. Like I said, you ain't God. Leave them alone, for God's sakes. Jesus, have mercy. Apparently, there is no mercy and grace in your world. I love you, and I hope the best for you. I hope the best for all of you. And if you want to come on my channel, that's great. If you don't, that's great, too. Whatever. Just... You know what? I, I welcome everybody to go on everybody's channel. I think everybody should dip their toes into everybody's point of view until you figure out what sits right with you. Maybe you stick with all of them. Maybe you only stick with half of them. Maybe you just do one or two. That's your choice. 
I'm not going to tell you who to pick and choose. That's kind of messed up. All right? I just, it doesn't make sense to me how you can be of love and light, but have expectations of telling someone how they have to spiritually feel. There's only one person that I know in the spiritual realm that convinces people of that. Actions do speak louder than words. Let my actions speak now, and I'm just saying, you do what you need to do, all of you. Whatever choice you want to make, my channel, someone else's channel, darling, you just do what you gotta do, all right? I'm not blocking anybody. That's none of my business, unless you start threatening somebody. Now, if you do that, then we'll have a problem, but good grief. Just leave people alone. I just, where does hatred come from? Hatred comes from a very deep, dark place, and I won't be a part of it. I choose to love, and I choose to honor the Creator's wishes and giving you free will you don't need it from me i don't give it to you he does you do you boo whatever that means and anybody that says negative or opposite of that don't return hatred with hatred or anger with anger you can you can return your opinion whatever that is maybe it is hatred and anger Okay, I choose love and understanding and forgiveness and uh, the simple fact of you do you, just you do you. Leave me alone to do what I need to do, you do you, and I'm not telling anybody else what to do. Leave them alone. But I guess that's going to be twisted too. No, you just told us what to do. Okay. All right, don't leave them alone. Do just keep doing what you're doing. If if you if you need to do it, honey, you do you boo. Actions do speak louder than words. It's all right. Just I love you. And I'm praying for you, and that's of the Divine Creator, and that's my Yeshua. Apparently, I was accused of having a dark side. Well, okay. Whatever. You're much more talented than I am. If you can predict that, all right then. All right. You want to tell people how they're supposed to think and feel? and pray, and who to meditate to, and what they're supposed to believe, and I'm all right. I guess you're just more talented than I am, so I guess we bow down to you then, huh? Right? That was sarcastic. Yeah, not in this world. I only bow to my divine creator. If you're that much more talented than we are, then please tell us your secret if you shall choose. But holier than thou, God love you. Guys, just keep doing what you're doing. If you want to be on this channel, be on this channel. If you want to go to somebody else's channel, go to their channel. You want to be on both channels, be on both channels. I don't care. I don't have anybody going and taking screenshots of other shows. I don't have spies. Don't care. Don't care. And if you're one of the people that go back and forth, and that's how I found out this information, well, God love you too. Because you're keeping us both informed. 
I'm just here to speak on behalf of the collective of the divine light and saying hatred has to stop. Just, just love people. Please just love people. How hard is it? Just love people. Just wish them the best. Even if you don't agree with them, just your actions are better than anything. They said it best. Actions speak louder than words. Do what you want to do. Listen to whoever you want to listen to. Just do what you want to do. That's your contract. That's your, that's your free will. Because God gave it to you. And I know I ain't God. Y'all be blessed and just, just love on each other. For goodness sakes. There should be no backlash of this whatsoever. You take care of yourself. Everyone else will take care of themselves. Divine light and spirit, if they have something to say and they want to interfere in some way, shape, or another, then they'll do it. But I'm not the boss. All right? Just the anger and the, the ugliness, I, I don't get it. Because I don't carry that around. I can't. That's, I don't have time, for one. But just know that you're more than welcome around here. Whether you agree with me or not, it doesn't matter. I will never threaten you. So, I love you. And um, see you on Wednesday. It's all good. It's all good. Jen loves you. I love my darlings. Bless you. Bless you. Love your heart. You're all precious to me. Those were positive words. And I will talk to you later. Blessings, darlings.